you know what, Maestro? Wouldn't it be cool if somebody like made a guitar that was like two guitars? Like not two guitars, but like sounded like two guitars. Like when you hit strings, like sounds like there's another guitar. And like, but it would be the same size as a regular guitar. It would like not be like a giant radioactive guitar. It'd be like a regular size guitar, but it sounds like two, two with with two strings, like two guitars. You know what I mean? Are you talking about the twelve string? Guitar? Yeah, yeah, that thing. <laughs> Guitar Stuff with John! Welcome to a very special edition of Guitar Stuff with John because we have with us the maestro himself. Robin Boucher is here in the studio with us as uh, he makes his, uh, as it's called, I guess it would be a biannual uh, or two, twice a year you come. Twice a year? Twice yeah. a year, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's always a huge honor to have you here oh, it's, uh, it's always a huge just, honor and uh, pleasure for me. i love you with all my heart you're just one of the finest men i've ever known and uh you come and you always bring guitars that just tear me up and uh this trip's no different so if you've been watching the last few weeks you'll know that uh we reviewed a couple of the brand new grand reserve series that are being made with the new hot molds new torrified maple Yep. New, 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 like the, as we've talked about before, the last time we did the big show with us together and talked about all the guitars, you know, yeah. you never stop learning. You just keep never. going and going and going and going, right? And uh, today, I, we're, we're going to show you this last guitar in the series on this run. This is uh, the one of the most incre incredible guitars I've ever seen, I, I, and I'm a huge fan of this type of instrument because I listened to Lightfoot all my life and Lead Belly and uh, Leo Kotke and like just uh, so many guys played this type of guitar and of course I'm, we're talking about a 12 string but Robin's take on the 12 string is just a wee bit different boys so what we have here is not in the catalog yet this this is a the only one of its kind and it's going to be offered soon through through the through yeah, the catalog. Actually, yeah, actually, it, it's a prototype. Yep, yeah, it is a prototype, and it is a Adirondack beautiful tobacco sunburst, Indian rosewood back and sides, bound in maple, mahogany neck, uh, clear pick guard, which I really like, and these superb crown uh, fret markers that are like on my Grand Reserves and stuff like that. I have of Robins. Mm -hmm. Uh, but where this thing really shines, and I've said this before on the show too, you make the best sounding 12 string I've ever heard. Uh, you, your jumbo, uh, which I don't own, but I've played them numerous times, they're just jaw dropping. And my 12 string, w which is named Lightfoot, she's an OM yeah. Bubenga, right? Uh, OM or, uh, Mahogany. Mahogany, right. And, uh, I only take her out for special occasions here in the studio and to do, of course, light foot work out live. I, I take her for that. Uh, but this thing here is just in another class all, itself, all by itself.
case. That's the best sounding 12 string I've ever heard. I don't know anything that even touches it. It's unbelievable. And that was why I wanted you to be here for this one out of these three guitars, was for you to be here. Because do you even know how you do this? How do you do this? Because uh, you know, you're a guitar, he's a guitar player. He's a really good guitar player. Plays live, plays in bands all his life, right? You know how hard it is for a 12-string to be... A 12-string can be one of two things. It can sound really good and play like crap. Yeah. Or it can play really good and sound like crap. The opposite, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yours play like butter and sound incredible. Like I never have understood how you... What the math is behind all of that. Well, uh, well... There is some maths, but the, 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 the point is that every single guitar that leaves my shop should be a guitar that I could play. Yourself, play. right. That's it. There you go. So whatever you're doing, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. like, the, like the OM I have is incredible. Everybody loves it. I love it. But that technology, your technology in this dreadnought body is another thing altogether. Um, so, and I think I, I think that the new molds yes are helpful. Oh for, yes, for the the new twelve strings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's take a close look at it. We'll get the maestro to help us describe this beast. And uh, this, of course, is uh, is this the keeper number? So this would be the SG twelve fifty two B one. B I or B I? Yes, sir. yes, sir. For uh, sunburst and yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and you're running a K and K in this one. And this well, one, yeah. yeah, I love the K and K. I love the K too. <laughs> That's the best thing. I remember I had a Fishman in my twelve. You gave me, mm -hmm. and uh, but we sw we switched it because the K and K just makes brings everything out of this that should come out of it. Um, so yeah, let's take a close look. You'll help me tell the people about this. All right. All right. Okay, we'll Good. skip that, and now we'll do the ending. All right. Ready? So there you go. There is the new, brand new, prototype Boucher twelve-string dreadnought, uh, Indian rosewood, uh, sunburst Adirondack top, crown inlays. Uh, this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. It's the most incredible twelve-string guitar I've ever seen. I, as soon as he pulled it out of the case, I nearly drooled because it has all of my favorite things. It has the sunburst. It has these fret markers, and it has this. Uh, it sounds like a Boucher, right? So it's got it's got everything going for it. Uh, so uh, thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for continuing to 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 hone the craft. Well, like, and, and that's and that's what I tell everybody that anybody that plays or that I teach or that I work with. That's the secret to life: is to always hone the craft. You never rest on your laurels. You don't ever say, well, that's enough, because it ain't enough. You can do better. 
always do better. Even by little tiny increments, things can improve. You're going to teach yourself. You're going to learn from other people. And this guitar is proof of of your journey as a builder. It's incredible what you've done. So, well, me and Guillaume and yeah, and the my whole team. crew at Bushy yeah. Guitars, they they want to take care of you okay, yeah. and, and your audience. Yeah, <laughs> and every artist that plays one of these guitars. Uh, you can tell, you know, if you meet a guy that has a Boucher, they'll all tell you the same thing. It's the, it's the best thing they've ever owned, and they're proud to have it. It's a, it's a great Canadian company, and uh, you, guys, you guys know how I feel about him. I say this stuff even when he's not here. And here we are with the maestro, Robin Boucher, right alongside you here, at the headstock of the... The new 12-string Dreadnought Beast model, that uh, this one is the prototype. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. That's uh, an ebony face plate, right, Robin? Yes. Yeah. Would, yeah. You're right. Bone nut. There's those beautiful crown inlays. I love so much. Gorgeous. And then the body, of course, we have a very boo-boo-ish guitar. It's very much like boo-boo. It's a herringbone. It's got an Adirondack top with this lovely tobacco brown, sort of a sunset, sunburst, ebony bridge, tusk pins, bone saddle. There's our label. It's a Studio Goose, of course. The SG-1252 BI, signed by the maestro. Herringbone trim, as you can see. And bound in maple, of course. All Boucher's mostly are almost yeah. all of them bound in maple. Yeah, with rock maple, yeah. Yeah. And an East Indian rosewood. Look how dark, beautiful that is. Finish is incredible. Look at that. Look at all the detail on that. Wow. It has got a lot of depth. Not your standard rosewood fare, right? A lot of rosewood is kind of pedestrian and it doesn't really show off very much, but that does. Look at that. There's parts of it almost look like Brazilian. There's so much dark uh, yeah, black yeah. in it. And right? I like this uh, reddish stripe. Yeah, yeah. In the middle, yeah. Yeah, and the maple going down the center. Yeah. Flame maple, you can see it rippling. Yeah. Look at it moving around yeah. when you move the guitar. Ebony heel cap. Pristine Boucher neck as per usual, no volute. And we got the uh, the Gotos here. Yeah. Beautiful tuners. Yep, and there it is. That's the beast. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. Do you want to say anything about it, Robin? Like, what what led you to do this? Well, I'm proud this of model. this guitar. Yeah, I'm proud of this new model. And uh, I can't wait to launch it in the close future. Yep. Yeah. So there you go, boys. If you're looking for the ultimate 12-string guitar, this is it. There's no question. This thing is an absolute monster. And uh, thank you, Maestro, for being here and for bringing this instrument. <laughs> Amazing. Boucher. Canada made. Canada played. <laughs> Both made in Canada. Correct, Amanda. The guitar and this <laughs> We are proud of it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Next time on Guitar Stuff time. with John, Robin Boucher, he's here, I'm here. Love you guys. <laughs>